ओके हाय सो सो गाइस वी आर गोइंग टू डू वन प्रैक्टिकल नाउ ओके सो व्हाट आई एम गोइंग टू डू आई एम गोइंग टू कनेक्ट वन राउटर विद वन नेटवर्क ओके मे बी आई हैव वन और टू पीसी हियर ओके एंड हियर आल्सो आई हैव अनदर पीसी so if my computer ip address is 192.168.1.1 or maybe 1.11 and here i have 192.168.2.11 so tell me if they are able to communicate if i have cable like that just forget we have router so tell me if they are able to communicate no right so we need a device which actually connects two different network and that device is known as router so we are going to connect a cable with this router and uh, when we add a cable in this device so we need to give ip address here also so we can give the same ip address where we have this network 192.168.1.1 i am going to give here and here in another link this is a separate link in router here i have to give 192.168 2.1 so it means a router will have two ip address so this is the work of routers to connect different networks to connect different networks we use this device okay and computer will have subnet mask by default 255.255.0 and computer always have a default gateway what is gateway exit point of lan is known as gateway so i'm going to assign 1.1 so that is my router ip because if computer wants to go outside the network they are going to use this is gateway for that lan network means when you this is your home or something right so suppose and you want to go outside so you always use the gate right so that you can exit and you can enter from this gate so it's like that so router ip address is like working as a gateway for you so this is my gateway because to connect with the different network i am going to use the router ip as my gateway okay so somebody asked me uh, like so what is the difference between gateway and router so router is a device that is hardware and router can have multiple gateways for each lan so this device will have this ip address as a gateway and for this computer this ip address will work as a gateway just exit point of the lan exit point of the lan is known as gateway okay so let's go and create a lab so i'm going inside racks with 8086 Hmm. So I'm going to create a lab. So I'll name it Router Lab. Okay. So here I'm going to add a device. Let's take this device. so this will work as so i have router so i have two switches and i have two machines
So the same lab you can do in your lab access. Like this. Okay, so. Okay. So this is the lab. So I'm going to start this router. And before doing this, I'm going to type here the IP address I'm going to use 192.168.1.1. Here I'm going to use 192.168.1.1. And at the below machine, I'm going to assign 192.168.1.11. On the other side of router, I'm going to use 192.168.2.1 and here I'm going to have another IP that is 192.168.2.2. Okay, so from more action, start all devices. Okay, so my all devices are up. Okay, so I'll open this router. Okay, so this is my router. So I'll always say no in the configuration. Okay. So we will assign two IP address and you can see there FA01. So what is this? I'll show you. So once you log in into your router, you are into by default, which mode user mode and which what is the command to enter further mode enable. So once we are, so this mode is known as privilege mode and this mode is user mode. Okay. So, so router, when you this see this prompt, this is known as user mode. And when you see this prompt, this is privilege mode. And when you see a bracket on top of this router, so this we call global configuration mode. Okay. Clear. So I'm going to create a lab here so that you can do this. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to type the commands over here so that you can write the command. So, so first of all, I need to enable the device, then I have to go configure terminal. So this is the command to go into my global configuration mode, configure terminal. Okay, so now you are into global configuration mode. So after that, I if I want to change the device name, so what is the command? Host name. So my router name is router, so I can name it NW Kings or something. So I will write host name NW Kings. So you can see, uh, you don't have to commit anything directly. The things are changing here. Okay. So in advanced routers, or maybe if you work in Cisco ASR or big series or even in Juniper and all, so you need to save the things to, uh, to enable the changes. But in Cisco normal devices, whenever you do any change, it will, uh, it will not ask for to save the configuration to do the changes. So whenever you type any command, it automatically changes. Means I have given a command host name NW Kings and you can see the prompt here NW Kings, right? So now I want to give IP address to this router. So this is an interface. What is this? This is an interface. So I will type interface. Router ports are known as interface. Interface FA0 slash 1. So you can see FA01. So I will type interface FA01.
Harshika, that's in Cisco. It actually, it's like that only. This is the reason we love Junos. Okay. So interface FA01, IP address 192.168.1.1 and with subnet mask. Just check here, guys. I'm giving IP address and then subnet mask. Just click enter and you need to give a command no shutdown here. So why we are giving this no shutdown command so that we can in a we are going to enable this port. Okay, this is like enable disable your port. No shutdown is a command to enable the device port. So IP address 192.168.1.1.255.255.0. No shutdown. Okay. So tell me what would be the command for next giving IP address to an another interface that is FA00. Just type in the chat. Hmm. Yes, correct. I need to go inside again. Interface FA00. Okay, IP address 192.168.2.1. Three times 255. And again, no shutdown. Right? So the same way you are going to give the command interface FA00 and I'm going to type 192.168.2.1 and click on no shutdown and your iPad. So you can see some messages here. You can see here change state to up. So it means the interfaces are up now and how to check my interfaces are up or not. You need to go back into privilege mode. So how to go back directly to privilege level, you can just type end, E-N-D, or you can give exit two times. I'm giving end, so directly I'm into privilege mode. So now I'm going to type show IP interface brief. This is the command to check if I have given the correct IP addresses or not. So tell me if I have given the correct IP addresses. Okay, so router makes a table that is known as routing table. What is the command to check routing table? Show IP route. So there you can see a lot of codes that is for different different protocols like EIGRP, OSPF, RIP and all. But as of now, we are not connecting multiple routers. We are working on one router and both the networks are connected to my router and it is showing you my 192.168.1.0. But I have given IP 192.168.1.1. But why this is showing me 1.0? Because router only saves network ID. So what are network IDs? So network ID is like house of IPs. Like, see, I have one computer. Maybe you have 100 computers. So router would not save 100 computer IPs in its routing table. It only only saves the house of IP address or you can say that network ID in networking terminology. Network ID means all IP belongs to this network because when we will have another router, okay, when we will have another router here, Yeah, so the, when router is going to connect with another device further, so router is going to share not 100 computers IP address. Instead of sharing, it is going to share only this network to this router and router will have 192.168.1.0. And we have another network. Maybe you have one IP or maybe you have 100 IPs or 100 computers here. So router is going to send 192.168. 
so instead of sending all host ip addresses i am going to send my network id so these are known as network ids so that means house of ips so that term you can't use it this is just for your understanding but in interviews or somewhere you can always say network ids why we using default subnetting because this is the first practical of a router and i don't want <laughs> a confusion right so that you will get confused so let's go and give the ip addresses to computer right so very easy just open the computers in your lab so somebody was asking me what is the password i have given the information windows test 123 test 123 but the first t is in upper case okay test 123 so in my first computer i need to go under ncpa.cpl and here i need to give in properties what would be the ip address 192.168.1.11 and my subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 and gateway would be router ip 192.168.1.1 so once i assign this ip what is the best thing bus uh, ping 192 168.1.1 so you can see a ping from router now so you are pinging your gateway this ip i have given to my gateway so in another pc ncpa.cpl inside my so what would be the ip 192.168.2.11 right so ip address would be 192.168.2.1 so so let's test the connectivity from pc2 to pc3 so what would be the ip address of pc2 192.168.2.11 right so let's see so here we go you can see we have connected two different networks guys how much ip we can assign to router it's better to always have ips when you have multiple interfaces so it depends on the router model so we have very big routers where we can get around 100 plus ports also so it depends actually the practical is successfully completed we are able to communicate from pc2 to pc3 so again i have shown you that i am pinging to 2.11 so but my computer ip is 192.168.1.11 and you can ping 2.11 yes i am able to ping this okay